Have you ever been hiking and noticed that when you summit, the footpath is covered in stacked rocks? These are known as cairns and come from the Gaelic word meaning a heap of stones. But what exactly are they? Usually cairns are built to show hikers the way on confusing routes. You can find them dotted all throughout famous trails like the Camino de Santiago. However, recently cairns have been popping up all over hiking trails, often in groups. Cairns can foster a sense of community between those on the same path and even help those in need to find the right route. However, the US National Park Service suggests that the ornamental ones can confuse those not familiar with the area, often leading people down the wrong path. Those planning to do lots of hiking should always carry wayfinding tools such as GPS or maps to navigate. Building cairns also goes against the leave no trace principle. If you move a rock from one place to the next, you may have inadvertently disturbed the home of a tiny organism living beneath it. Moving stones can also contribute to soil erosion or destroy the delicate microhabitats plants and animals need to survive. Cairns have thought to have been started by Waldron Bates, who was the lead author of an island map published in 1896. He was devoted to the maintenance of hiking trails and wrote a handbook to establish standards of how things should be done. He also established how cairns should be built in a style now known as the Bates Cairn, quite different from the simple stacks we see today. While building a rock cairn looks like harmless fun, taking consideration that the national parks across America received over 297 million recreational visits in 2021. That's a lot of potential for damage, even if every visitor was just to move one stone. The advice from the National Park Service is to leave rock cairns well alone. No tampering, building or adding to existing ones. If that won't convince you, maybe the law will. The practice of moving rocks could be seen as vandalism, which is illegal.